Both sonatas were written very close to the end of the composer's lives. So Chopin wrote his sonata five years before he died, and Schubert just two months before. And there can be a very real temptation, I think, to speculate that this music must have some deep philosophical or existential meaning behind it. And often the goal is this, it's to make us feel regret for the composer's premature death and ultimately emphasize the point that during their lifetime, their greatness was unappreciated. And one of Chopin's admirers has even said this. He says that Chopin's sonatas display a wealth of thoughts. So this, he claims, the wealth of thoughts made it difficult for Chopin to maintain proportion, to develop thematic balance, and to adhere to the obligatory rules of the genre. Schubert was actually already one of the most widely performed and published composers in Vienna during his lifetime. And Vienna, as we know, is the music capital of Western Europe then. So what does this mean? It means that rather being poor and unappreciated, Schubert was actually very productive, very profitable, and very well-known and popular. And many musicologists are also persuading readers and listeners who listen to the Romantic Sonatas as products of innovation, whether in terms of harmony and structure or in the way that they reflect the full sonic, mechanical and technical capabilities of the instrument, the piano. And some sources tell us that both Chopin and Schubert were already celebrated as great writers of melody by musicians and audiences of their time. 